All right. I'm doing this because I haven't been playing Smite too much. I haven't been playing Smite that much recently. Not because I'm bored of it. I really do love Smite. I love Smite a lot. It's because I haven't actually wanted to play casuals. I just am not interested. At all. It's not fun. It's not it's boring. It's mind boggling how people just refuse to get better and they just play for their own enjoyment, which is fine in arena and assault where there really is no team comp potential there's just you do whatever you want and that's what happens you win or lose depending on how many creeps you have who the better players are overall and that's really it but with conquest it's a team base so when you put players that are only there to have personal enjoyment and not get better that really puts a, a bad experience for people like me. So that's why I kind of haven't been playing recently. Now, I'm just watching my friend who's playing a pre-made, Beak. I've had him a few of my videos. He's playing Neath, and the reason why he's uh, gold and red instead of you know, gold, gold and blue it's because it's spectate mode and you always have um, gold and red. So I think it's very nice. I like it. Uh, this is just sort I wanted to give an update of where I am at because I want to become a better smite player. That's simply it. I can't get better if I play League because League is very... has a lot of negative things to it. And I'm not interested in that. I want to play as a team and get better with that. And the way to do that is with premates. We now don't have a full team. So that's not happening. I like doing 1v1s for fun with ADCs. I don't like it with any other guy. Just ADCs are something I like doing 1v1. So I have been messing around with that a little bit. I want to get better with Sir Cat. But it's not an easy thing to do when you have no chance. Ooh, that was a really good job. Dodge. And I'm just watching the, the ADC for our team and how he's doing with Creature and other people from the other team that we'll be scrimming against. Now, the, one thing you probably noticed is something's different about the start on the Apollo. He is doing what is the new ADC build, which consists of Heartseeker, then Dev Loves, sorry I'm not 100% sure what it is, Boots, then what is it, what is it next, um, I think it's Rage? Deathbringer than Executioner. So it is very. Ooh, that was a really good back. That was a really good backflip. All right. That Athena should take a lot of folk, but that was good. He hit both of them. Alright, so the Athena can't get the mid camps now. So it's just as worth as not getting the kill. Because then that means the mid camps will go on their side if they are able to get it both. Let's see. I think, yeah, they got them. So they got both mid camps. That's very useful because. Ooh, no mana. 
He's not dead. I don't think he's dead. Not when creatures rotating over. He, he's dead. Unless he's a backflip. Or you know that happens. Or that. Hmm. That's unfortunate. He lived for a long time, so that's good. Um, getting used to the whole spectator. But, yeah, that's what's been happening. I haven't been playing much. New ADC build, in my opinion. It isn't too bad. I don't... I mean... You have more damage at the start. It's easier to build. I think overall you have 1,400 gold at, for Dev Globes and 13 for Heartseeker. I like that. There's the enemy Nemesis. Nemesis build is standard. I tried the Bubba's of Nemesis, and I really do like it. It's just. It's really useful. I like Death Stall, and I guess you can still use Death Stall for that in lane damage instead of just for the creeps. I like the Bumba's passive, and the true damage is a lot more useful than I thought it would be. So uh, I didn't make a mistake. I thought like gods like Loki and Fenrir wouldn't be good, but gods like Bastet would be better. Because Basset needs Bumbas, Death Soul really is not a good option on her, in my opinion. And the reason is because it's for auto attack gods, and Basset's an ability based god. So, having more damage on your abilities, it is insane. Loki, I just underestimated how much the 10 true damage really did. I didn't. I knew it was definitely a buff. I just didn't know how good of a buff. So Sam is gonna win his lane. Clearly. Let's see what's happening. Attack. Nope, nothing at all. I'll just go on big because he's on my team. I want to know how he's doing. He has four full dev gloves. He died once, unfortunately. And this is probably going to be one of my few videos and what types of videos I'll be doing. If you want a 1v1, please do. I don't really care if you're good or you're really good. I'm just interested in 1v1ing. I don't care if I win or lose. I just like having fun. I was a l He took a lot of damage from that. The Apollo could ult. Hmm... But he Neat does have a backflip. He she does have a heal, so I'm guessing he would want yep. Your right tower is under attack. Sorry, my dear. It could have been truly sweet. But probably would you say jealous? Yeah, that was a trade off. Why did he do that? It's because he th thought he could get out, but Beak does have two wards, and since he is behind, I don't really recognize that. He's only got behind by 200 gold. Or, yeah, he's behind by 200 gold, so it's not that bad. And I would think it was a benefit towards Beak than it was for the other enemy ADC, because you already have that lead. There's no reason to have that kind of trade-off. Yes, you get a bigger lead, but because you're more fed, sh the enemy ADC would get more benefit than that, and um, you would. <laughs> Looks like Mocha's having some problems in solo, which is kind of expected because he doesn't play too much tonight, but he does definitely seem decent enough to the point where he doesn't have to do much. Nice. Maximum CC. Your middle tower is under attack. That was really useful because 
they basically took advantage of how much CC they had and put it into full use. Allow the weight to stack up. Nice hit. Neat uses a lot of mana, so getting the mana potions and the mana um, buff is very useful. Well, someone with like Apollo could just be a little bit safer in lane without it. Alright, this should be a fight they should do. Oh, Sam's there. Um, that's good. Targeted the right person. Taking the speed buff. That was very nice. I like that. That was a good fight and good engagement. That Apollo should. Mm, oh, there is a weave down. Yes, he's dead. So Beak is definitely good with it. That's there's no doubt about that. Very good. Ooh, shit. He's the uh, a nemesis should back off. Or not. Yeah, that was a really bad choice. Reason why you don't want to do that, but it doesn't really matter because you have Athena. I mean, if that was just Nem versus Beak, and Beak had a little bit more mana, he could have gotten away quite easily after the Nemesis used the dash, but because Nem had um, the chance to do that, and for some reason has Fist of the Gods, which I don't recommend getting so early on, because at 600 gold you're putting into an active that you can use every 90 seconds and 600 gold could ha help you get shins or executioner depending on the way you're building them so that I don't necessarily agree with that I mean if you're getting hand of the god where you're getting hog 3 for objectives then I do note that yes it's a bigger investment because you can get more out of it Fist of the Gods, you can have more kill potential, but you have your ultimate, you have your slice and dice, and your retribution. There are so many things better. That was kind of a waste right there. She used it defensively. It wasn't necessary at all. That posh. Now, there was no threat at all to anything. So you don't want to use your dash like that because mana. Yes, you have bumbas, but and yes, it doesn't. You don't have to be in lane, but it allows you to catch up to people and disengage if they come to you. So you can kind of bait them out and use more abilities and put them in bad positions and kill them because of it and punish them. Few issues right there, um, but overall really good play, going back in, not leaving, so very good. What are the builds so far? So unaided should, he has hog three, so they have two hog threes, meaning that's very useful. Nice retribution. <laughs> nice play overall. Only problem is, is she stood way. No, this is just a general thing. This isn't a towards the nemesis at all. Is that she stood right next to the um, next to the um, Athena, meaning the squall has an AOE effect and would affect you too. So if you were standing to the side, outside of the AOE they would have to choose either you or the Athena because you have the kill potential but Athena has the setup so it's really like a lose-lose situation anyways but if you hit both of them 
and there was no third person there, then you have a very high chance of getting away, since the M dash, I think, was down at that time. Which is why you want to be very careful with it, because there's a lot to it, and it has a lot of potential. Like, there wasn't a necessary dash, because Apollo has life seal already, meaning he can tank the whole entire thing. Bumbas, let's see what you get. Full chins. Alright, you're going for that type of build. I wonder what you're going to get in seconds. Probably Aussie? I'm just taking a wild guess on that. But overall, this Nemesis is very, very good. He is, though, 5 and 1. And the Fist of the Gods really isn't that big of a deal anymore, considering unaided got tier 3 hog. It is a better investment, but 600 gold is still 600 gold. So, yeah. Good dash timing on that. Allows cooldown to come off very soon when you're about to engage. Good. I'm sorry, I know I should be doing other people, like look, looking at other people. But I, I, I like seeing how Nemesis players do. I mean, it's good. I like seeing how they are and giving my opinion on it. And for those who want to get better, that was a perfect portal. But don't, I do. There are a few bad things about the him. Is that he isn't farming enough. He's seven one. He is one thousand gold ahead, but he just recently got barely a level higher. That was pretty bad on his part. Alright, let's see how the Nemesis is doing. Very, do you have to be careful in this situation because of the Anubis? And the AO, anyone with some area effects like that? Yeah, you have your Retribution, but they just... There are too many different situations where you want to. I mean, them is definitely a really good choice in this team. Them is good overall, in my opinion. Especially when you have a Janus. You could technically, with how much damage you have and how much sustain, you can get Magi's or Urchin. They're both good items. Health bots really at this point aren't necessary. You know, the reason why I don't get chins and I kind of like, eh, I don't want chins at first is because I'm getting both chins and executioner. Meaning i rather take the cheaper of the two to speed up my build. If you go from the most expensive items to the cheapest items, your early game's going to suffer a lot. So instead of going for second item or first item chins, I go second item executioner after my boots. It has a lot of usefulness to it. It allows clearing camps to be a little bit more effective. Uh, you're a little more effective with them. Efficient. Um, overall, there are a lot of benefits to it. You get early life steal. That's good because I've had many that's I don't recommend that because Aegis against these guys would kind of destroy them. Yeah, sprint's useful. I tend to not like I mean this is just I think of mm-hmm Yeah, you can get that kill. Maybe. Yeah, see, you got that kill. It's not worth an active. I'd rather be alive. I'm If I'm 8-1, and one, there's no reason for me to get sprint. I'd probably get something more defensive. I'd get life seal to allow me to get further ahead. Yes, crit's very useful in them, and it's definitely a strong item. Life seal's better. It gives you sustain. You are an assassin. Instead of having to buy, for some reason, health pots, 
which makes absolutely no sense in the slightest it's just mm, I give the snap so far 7 out of 10 average a lot of mistakes I mean I get the grind crit and that was a bad combo right there the reason is is because buying ashes too early on some gods is fine like it's just... Mm. Yeah, you're, they're definitely benefiting from this, but... I still think the sprint is a bad actor to get at this point. Like, to get so early, it's just not worth it. Everyone's falling on the, on the team I want to win. Well, that sucks. He is level 18, so that's very good, and he is out a lot, which is also very good, but mana pots would have helped him so much more. And I think he just uses Fist of the Gods. Hog is just, helps you clear camps, deal that extra 480 damage. Fist of the Gods at this point, at this point of the game right now, would be fine. Whoops. Your middle tower is under but let's see how Biko's doing. Right he is, is three attack. levels behind. Tina is zero four. That was a good kill. Your left tower is under attack. Grouping right now would be very useful. Overall, this is a good game. The Nem isn't bad. That's good. Has very good positioning and is definitely a very experienced jungler. Going Rage. Oh my god, that makes up for so much. Rage is also another item. You can get third item. I just really don't like it. Because you already have a lot. You have your ultimate. That's the only reason why I don't like it. It's because you have an ultimate that destroys people's defense and grants it to you so why have it i don't know who got the gold fairy Gold difference, yeah, they got the. So the enemy team stole the gold fairy. Hooray for science! Damn it. I hate this so much. Sorry, I'm not very good at the whole. Thing give a jig over here, but yeah, it's just a slight update. I'll probably be doing more of this if they do more free raids. I, I like watching, learning what other people do, see how they do it. But the rage is very useful because it gives them more consistent crit. I um, and without life steal, it's better to have more consistent crits. I with my build, I go Deathbringer because at that point in time, I'm not going for crits, I'm going for the extra 50 uh, for the damage you get, along with the, 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 um, along with the, uh, 50 damage and the more it allows you to do with your slice and dice. But that's why I go with it, and that was a really good ward. Placing wards there allows you to know when the enemy jungler is going to take their speed, when, who people, uh, where people are at certain times, and this, ooh, yeah, chasing kills like that is okay. I just think, ooh, that was funny. Okay, that's a Neath, and she didn't have her root. It's just, 
it's kind of risky doing that overall with any god because Neath has so much utility and life seal helps right here so you don't take any unnecessary damage that's why I like it and that's a surrender all right unfortunately they lost but hopefully you learned a few things and my announcing skills are pretty good I think observing a few things going back and forth and yeah see you guys later